All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method. Today we're going to be using um, one of my favorite chord progressions for like a funk groove uh, song, uh, and we're going to be talking about how to get the rhythm of funk into your hands and out of the amp. Okay, so funk guitar is is a or funk music is is categorized, it's, I was going to say it's broad, but it's not broad actually, it's very specific. And when I listen to all different types of funk, um, there is two things that are always happening. Uh, number one, actually three things, i got to learn to count better. Number one, there's always a strong backbone drum beat uh, that's not laid back, it's kind of like up front in the pocket, um, and it has a little bit of a drive to it. I'm going to play something on my uh, Beat Buddy pedal, which we'll talk about in a couple seconds. Um, and uh, you'll hear that has a strong driving, uh, you know, backbeat to it. Number two is that there's usually some sort of like seventh chord or ninth chord or something that's a little um, extended in the chord. It's rare. It's, it's not rare, but when I listen to, to uh, funk, the one that gets me, like the A1 steak sauce I talk about, it's usually ones that have seventh chords or ninth chords or minor sevenths or something that has an extension on it. And today we're going to be using my, one of my favorite chord progressions, which is a 2-5. Uh, if you're a Fish fan, this is every like jam they have. You and Drum Myself, Momo Dance, everything. If you're not a Fish fan, it doesn't matter. This is all uh, about funk. And so, um, and the third thing is that they use different, you know, voicings for things. So today we're going to use uh, a 2-5 chord, uh, which is uh, an A minor 7 to a D7. Uh, Oye Como Va by Santana is this progression, pretty much, okay? And so I'm going to show you how to play those chords all over the neck, but we're going to talk about the rhythm of everything. So how do we do this? Well, uh, I was over at my friend Sean's house, and he reminded me that I actually had a Beat Buddy pedal, which I totally forgot about. And so I loaded it up, and, um, and here's a funk backing track. Like, here's a funk... Uh, uh, sorry, drum track. Just give it a listen. It starts off with a fill. Here we go. Three, four. One, two, three, four. A snare is prominent. So you can hear that. Now, when a funk guitar player comes in, there's all different types of funk, and we're going to talk about this. There's tight funk, there's loose funk, there's something that fish fans call cow funk. Uh, and the idea is, is how well uh, you are attached to the drummer. And so if you watch my right hand, my right hand, or excuse me, your picking hand if you're a lefty, needs to move with this virtual hi-hat. Like, see that? The hi-hat and the drums. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Now the thing is with, with uh, guitar players, we can hit like, down and up. So really, if you listen, instead of like one E and a two E and a three E and a four, we can go like this. And what this is, is one E and a two E and a three E and a four. So we're down and up, okay? And so now, if you play this, now I'm locked in with the drummer. I'm, dr I'm locked in with the hi-hat, okay? I'm just moving my strings. And you want to go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. And any beat will do if you want to practice this. Now, tight funk, I'm just going to take an A minor 7. Now, you can play different, all the A minor 7s. You can play a full bar chord like this, 5, 7, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, skip the A string, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. You can literally just do 5s from the D string over. And I'll choose this one just as an example. This is an example of me being tight with the drummer. Now, I'm going to stop this. Okay. Uh, right there, my, my right hand was moving with the hi-hat. What I was doing is I was just playing A minor 7. And instead of trying to mute the chord here, all I'm doing is I'm just letting go of the chord here to produce, to keep, I'm, I'm hitting the strings. But when I want to hear the chord... So this does take a great divide. This, this, this does take ability to kind of do one thing with one hand and something else with the other. And again, I'm not going like... I'm not stopping my rhythm. I'm stopping the chord by not pushing, okay? So here it is again. And I'm going to pick a rhythm. If you watch, like... I'm going to go... Bop, 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 bop. Now I'm not coming off the strings. I'm just squeezing when I want to hear the note. And I'm letting go of the pressure. So here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, so now 
you can hear I'm with the drummer and I'm kind of, you know, getting these chops by just touching the string and I am kind of picking my rhythm out with the left hand, but you gotta keep the right hand moving. So now all I'm gonna do is do the same thing with an A minor and a D7. I'll play a D7 here, five on the A, seven on the D, five on the G, and oh, if I can play it, and seven on the B. Okay, so it's this chord, D7, that's, this is my uh, two chord, two five, A minor to the five chord. So two five in G, B. Don't worry about it. Two five progression. A minor to D to D seven. Sorry, A minor seven to D seven. And so I'm gonna pick the same rhythm, and I want you to watch this hand for these pulses, these squeezes. Again, this is a tight rhythm where the right hand is kind of hitting every string and every beat, and the left hand is controlling the hits. This is straight up just like easy, easy, uh, like lame funk, right? Not really the most impressive funk in the world. Now, that's super tight. Now, you can get really tight and be very crisp and come up with some, uh, some rhythms, all with the, with the, uh, the stopping, uh, sorry, the pushing and letting go. But I want to, and we'll get to that, but I want to start talking about how to loosen up your, your funk a little. The, the best part about funk is if you picture these rhythms, like one, two, three, four. If you picture these pillars, these four pillars on the screen. One, two, three, four. That drum beat's always there. Boom, tick ba Boom, it's always there, like a video game running at, the, at, at a con, like consistent pace. It's always going through the screen at the same pace. Now, if you were a character and those things were moving, you know, and you had to hop the poles, you, you could sit and, and as the poles jump, you land on one, and then the next pole you jump, you land on the other. But what funk guitar is, is pretty much starting on one pole and then kind of doing your own thing as the, the poles move underneath uh, you and then landing on a pole. And I knew you are probably like, what the heck is this guy talking about? But, you know, if you can hit a downbeat, if you can hit the one beat, and then come up with your own rhythm uh, that kind of detaches a little bit from uh, the uh, drums, then you start to develop like what I consider to be really tasty funk, where you've disengaged from the drummer, you've given an extra layer of rhythm, and then you come back to the drummer. So listen for this. I'll show you what I do. Here we go. Again, is the most important, most impressive thing in the world? No, but you can hear how I really relied on the drummer to be consistent. I was just kind of and kind of connecting what I wanted to. And so what you want to try doing is listening to the drummer and coming up with a, with a complementary rhythm as if there was a second drummer doing some fills and you want to be that fill work. And so when you listen, Now, if I were to think of some like So you see, I was filling in the space of the drummer. I was filling in the space of the drummer, like he like an extra fill there. Now the funk got a lot looser. So now what I want to show you is you know, the idea of funk is to stay uh, attached to the rhythm at some point and then disengage, come up with your own kind of line and come back to some tightness. But let me show you some other 2-5 uh, chords. Now these are all A minor 7s and D7s. And so, you know, playing an A minor 7 open position to D7 is not really funky. You kind of, kind of, but you want to kind of bar it out. So again, you can play A minor 7 or an A minor 7 and you play your D7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5. Now, if you want to do some different voicings, an A minor 7 on the guitar would be 7th fret of the D, and then 9th fret with your pinky on the G, and 8th fret on the B string with your middle finger, and 8th fret on the high E string with your ring finger. And you have this. And a D7 would just be, you uh, kind of take those fingers off, and you keep your bar with the first finger, and you leave your ring finger on the 10th fret. So listen. Here we go. Now that was tight. 
let's make it loose. Like, So there's tight funk, there's loose funk, there's a drum fill, and you want to practice uh, these kind of tightness and loose lo tightness and loosenesses. I don't know, whatever. And so the idea again is to push when you're being tight, push that rhythm, boom, bop, bop, with the right hand. While the right hand does the sorry, push the left hand while the right hand does the thing, and then also try and think of some lone you know, uh, video game star, you know, moves where they spin and do 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 and they land on the beat. Like, and you land on the beat when that chord change happens. So now, there was one set of uh, A minor 7 to D7, here's another set of A minor 7 to D7, and let me give you one of my favorites, uh, A minor 7, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, then pink, sorry, 12 on the A with the ring finger, you're gonna bar your first finger on the 10th fret, there and then you put your pinky on the 12th fret of the G. So you should have uh, from the A string over is 12, 10, 12, 10. The inner four strings. And if you want to do a D7 chord, you can really just play. Uh, it's up to you. 12 on the D, 11 on the G, and 10 on the B. That's a D major. And then you can add the flat seven with the, with the pinky kind of getting onto the 13th fret of the D uh, of the B string. So you got this. Uh, Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and use those three different voicings. And I'm going to try and stay tight with my right hand moving. I'm going to kind of like push the rhythm and stay to the drums and listen to drums. And then I'm going to try and come up with some things that, that depart from that rhythm. Um, and I come, come up with, with whatever I want and I land back on the rhythm. So let, let's just see if we can do this one more time. Let's see. there but it was still a uh, funky rhythm that's what this is about the rhythm and the groove and the idea is um, you know you really want to try and hum along and kind of whatever you hum get out of your head now um, that went from like tight to medium loose and then if you really want to get really loose if you have a wah pedal the type of grooves and funks that I like and uh, kind of elongates your strums and you kind of strum and you get and you use your foot to kind of elongate or uh, you know, make make that chord feel a little um, elong elongated. I guess is the word. And again, like if you're a fish fan, there's this there's this definition of cow funk, which I'm not really touching. But this is when um, they get dark and and Trey turns on his uh, I believe it's his watt pedal, um, and you can get these like these little swells of added rhythm. And so I'm gonna play it again, and I'm gonna turn on my watt pedal, and I'm not gonna strum as much. I'm gonna use my use my pedal, and all I'm doing is okay. I don't have a camera on my foot. You don't want to see my feet. Trust me. You can ask my friend Scott. Here we go. <laughs>
I really can sit through that every, all day long. I love that. I love the flavor. I love the flavor of like elongating using that wah pedal. So now hopefully this all made sense. I don't know if it did or didn't, but the idea behind the whole entire thing is to pay attention to the drummer and use your right hand to stick with the beat one E and two E and whatever he's doing. Squeeze that, 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 and, and, and come up with some rhythms that keep the right hand engaged, and then come up with some rhythms that really depart and then come back to your tight rhythms. If you want to loosen it up, you might have seen me, by the way, sliding. Sliding always works, and also the wah pedal helps elongate the funk. So hopefully it's helped you with your rhythm of funk journey and groove. I don't know. Go have a rockin' day. All right, bye-bye.